personne. Voilà, ce matin. So, everybody who wants to have a seat, has a seat, I hope. Oh, so many cameras here. Noch mal weiter runter. Okay. So. This is the final of the GTAC Developer Weekend for the GDDDE, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so um, since there are a few people who have to leave very soon, um, since it's getting dark, they are afraid of the dark, I guess. Um, so we we will start the presentations right now and make the wrap up and the review of all this afterwards. So let's start. So team number one, Michael, and some encouragement, please. So your goal was to write an Android application on a tablet for Wheel Map, and you did it. Okay, we are we are switched into the fragments. We are having uh, you know, three segments, link view, where I can select the boy uh, place of interest. Then I can see the status of the boy and on microphone or here. And we have a map as the third fragment. So it's basic it's a uh, switch into the fragment. Uh, we switched our app into the fragments. We have three fragments on the screen, a list uh, a detail for the point, uh, point of interest and the map view. Uh, so I think we got uh, our goal and I'm really happy to work with the people together and it looks very good. Learn today, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, uh, how many people were in your team? The, the whole team? Okay, okay. Impressive, impressive. So for the next presentations, uh, have a safe trip home, right? So a big goodbye applause from us. Farewell. <laughs> That's dedication. Um, whoa, okay. Everybody alive? Um, for the next, uh, for the next ones, uh, it would be good to have some talking points. Just how many people were on your team? Uh, what, what, what did you want to accomplish? Did you accomplish it? And what did you learn? Maybe this as a as a help to get through the talk. So team number two, please. So first, what was your goal? Our goal was to uh, control the infrastructure, uh, like lamps or uh, anything else that can be hooked up to an Arduino, uh, and not just with a wire somehow, but wirelessly from a laptop, for example, web browser, or from a native application from an Android device. And which part of it have you reached? Uh, we reached everything. Oh, OK. <laughs> so oh. You're, you're already standing in a flashlight which is switched. Okay, and uh, who's switching it? Who's currently switching it? He's switching his... Oh, you do, okay. <laughs> He's switching it with the laptop, with the HTML interface from the laptop. Can you so show it to us? He can turn on and off this lamp and that lamp. Simply Would you like to put off. it on the projector? Yeah. 
There is something, but no web browser. Here it is. Great, nice looking user interface. Yeah. Okay. So we've got two relays there to which the lamps are hooked up. Relay one is the bright one. Relay two, if you turn off the bright one, maybe. And the relay two is the other one, the smaller one. And what we also did, not just connecting relays, but we also connected that beautiful color lamp that he did. Just stand up. <laughs> he created yeah. the lamp, but <laughs> the lamp itself was not created today. So the lamp he brought with him. <laughs> that would have been a little too much. And we co connected the lamp as well to the Arduino and made all the colors in there Arduino controllable. Um, it's an R, G, and a B lead LEDs in there, and they have 16-bit uh, controls for all color channels. So it's you have two to the power of 48 uh, different combinations in there, and we can control that over the web interface as well. Uh, either control the channels, red down, green down. At the moment, the the, the blue channel of the lamp has a hardware problem, so it's always a little blue. Okay. But it's, it's a hardware problem. Even if you pull down everything to zero, it's a little blue. But you see the color changing when he is moving the sliders. And you can push, I'm feeling lucky, and some random color is popping up. Nice. So we've got a... We've got a quite simple HTTP interface to the Arduino, which he's using from a JavaScript inside his page. And that interface, HTTP interface, can also be controlled from a native Android application, which you and you did together. Please stand up. So we're, we're having the API. Maybe some people close to us can see it, and he can change the colors from the native application. So he's nothing do, doing nothing at the moment where you see it in the, in the projection. And the colors of the lamps are changing. What's happening behind the scenes? Uh, those HTTP requests, they go to that wireless LAN router, which we flashed with OpenVRT. On that router, a small web, a web server is running with a CGI script. That CGI script receives the HTTP requests and translates them into commands to the Arduino, which is hooked up to the router as well to the USB port. So the script is sending commands to the Arduino via a serial connection over the USB port. And the Arduino interprets the commands and controls the lights. That's it. Okay. And was, and was it straightforward or were there some big uh, problems on your way? It mostly worked like we wanted to, to do it. So in the end, we had the solution that we envisioned with the same technology. In between, there were some problems like uh, the USB port was not detected by the router when we connected the Arduino board. So mm -hmm. kernel modules had to be downloaded and inserted into the kernel, stuff like that. But basically, everything worked. OK, thank you so far. Um, we, are about, we were two persons working on the Arduino two on the application uh, for Android, one for the web interface, and three more people helping us with various stuff like organizing all those boxes, cables, finding out information, and so on. So around, I think, seven people. Yeah, and actually, the both teams two and nine joined in a really early stage. Yeah, exactly, uh, yeah. So, OK, cool. Thank you very much. Was there a team number three? We're just uh, figuring out the HDMI port. You're just figuring out the HDMI port. I just uh, need to find the remote again. OK, I don't need to find the remote. But here, plug it in. So, what was your goal? So, we were the um, people who wrote the, who wrote the um, Hackathon part. So, we were inspired by the Tron game on that really cool machine there. And we thought about, hey, what about if we could uh, run this on the Google TV device? And that's what we did. 
So we wrote this Android application, and right now I started it, which opens a TCP socket. And now all the people here from my group can uh, attach and run there to run. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. It's going to be legendary. Oh, you didn't make the call. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so now we can run to run on the Google TV. And the other guys, where are you? Uh, yes. uh, one other is here to talk Android has I can help you by doing that. So the more tricky stuff is to um, to have a solution how to access the game with uh, via Telnet. And this is it. Yeah, now we can. <laughs> so we have a we have a defined a small protocol, which allows you to define a username. For example, I may be Kevin Flynn. Perhaps you re remember the name. He's typing join Kevin Flynn. So, and now you can see Kevin Flynn and with one and two and one and two, if I'm blind, I can perhaps, oh, my uh, avatar goes, goes somewhere, but perhaps these two clients are not the only ones we have. We have one client here on the tablet. I start the game and I'm the blue guy now. Okay? And we have one client on the other side using uh, a web interface and Node.js backend. <laughs> what the fu- And he will start on the lower right corner. <laughs> Woo! And by the way, we can also control, of course, uh, via the keyboard and so on, you know. That's the basic stuff. I don't know the key uh, shortcuts right now. Um, yeah, basically, it's all open source, it's all down here. And uh, I, mu I must say, um, we had a really good time there, and I really love to work with so great hackers. I didn't believe uh, we made it, but, it, but we did, and it's great. And the complete, uh, actually, this application here, uh, oh, wait, I have a special surprise for you. Because this application runs at the TCP IP right now, and if you open your Android devices and install an application from tinyurl.com slash hackathon, you can download the APK and connect to this device right now and play around with it. So anybody who wants this, or should we just go on to the next demo? You want to play a bit? Or we should... Okay, so open okay, up your um, device. So first, I'll open the application, and I will give you the IP address soon. So tinyurlcom slash hackathon. And can you can you explain us a bit? Um, I mean, you had this idea to play it. Had you also all the uh, details already in mind, or how did it involve? Uh, we just said, okay, we have a Google TV application, which is Hackathon, and we want to control it uh, via Android, but the other parts, which is so cool to make, so we just did it. You have also a really nice uh, UI. Yeah, also, that's from uh, Vitaly, which is... Um, uh, obviously left right now, but he did the UI here. Yeah, it's uh, really nice. Yeah, and we have we have also the UI here on the. Maybe you can show that on the tablet because it's a little bit bigger. Um, so we have just the UI with left right button, and we had a circle in the middle where you can enter it. So anybody who installed the application right now? Ah, okay. So the IP address is 10.23.1.2. Ten dot two three dot one dot two eight, and I will uh, sh shortly. Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> so people come in. Kevin McDonald, Crafty, speaking you up. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Is there a limit on the players? You think? Right now, there's a limit on four players because we want to so let let them uh, start in the border uh, in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks. Thank you very much. So, but when we did the wrap up, uh, I didn't find Team 4. So actually, there is no Team 4, that's right? So, let's come to Team 5. Where is Team 5? 
Oh 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 oh. What was the goal of Team Five? Someone remembers? World peace. World peace. Okay, they didn't make it. <laughs> Maybe just a bit, but not completely. So let's come to Team Six. Where is Team Six? There. So, what was your goal? So our goal was to monitor the, um, the power consumption of um, um, electricity plug here and to show it on the beamer. And everything works uh, except that it doesn't work together. So the <laughs> server works, the uh, unit works, um, everything works but not together. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, no problem. It's part yeah. of the process. Yeah. Is, is someone in here who don't know how it feels uh, if you have everything working but not working together? So I think everyone in here uh, has already seen it. Um, but um, hopefully soon. And uh, this, I want to have something like, like measuring... Uh, like you did here in Seabase as a permanent installation. So hopefully next time you visit Seabase, we will have something like that here. And hopefully you will help us. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> Team number seven. Seven, seven, seven. There's no seven. There was a team number seven, no? But what the, was, was their goal? No team number seven. Okay, then uh, what what do you want to do? I will turn this off now because maybe it's uh, disturbing for the other groups. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Um, so let's uh, come to team number eight. So. Explain us, what was your goal? Um, we wanted to have fun and we wanted to measure alcohol uh, in, in your breath. So you breathe in the alcohol meter yeah. stuff thingy. And did you have fun? Uh, no, but... <laughs> 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 yeah. this, this team was sitting just one minute before six o'clock uh, over there. Yeah. So we, I'm really... We have something. Okay. So yeah. it does Uh, so you, right you, you blow in the sensor and then you okay. get values and around hundreds. Yeah, we, we didn't have a test person with very much <laughs> in, uh, oh, I know, So we, we are looking for a test person yeah. to verify the implementations. Uh, we're pretty sure it works. <laughs> so who has already drunk some uh, alcohol? Okay, is maybe someone lying down somewhere who's really drunk? Someone on the floor, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we need to create someone who is drinking alcohol. <laughs> And now let's see what it gives. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, it's increasing. 200. It's up to 250. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, it should be like 500 if you're really drunk, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, you want to good. say you need more vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll be around the whole evening. <laughs> yeah, okay. Woo. Very cool. <laughs> so, yeah, well, we had a, another goal, but we failed on that. So, so we don't don't tell. <laughs> well, kind of work. Yeah, so we had it working for separately, but it didn't work together. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh.
Okay, then team number nine joined team number two into 29. So we now come to team number 10. <laughs> so, um, what was your goal? What was your team? Uh, our goal was to revive a billion year old uh, Unread and let him speak to us. Um, the problem is uh, we had different technologies to use. We had some uh, tablets from Acer and we had some tablets from Samsung and the Samsung tablets did like to speak but the Acer ones didn't like speaking but they did like the LDK what the Samsung didn't like and so we have the classical we can't show anything but it works in principle. Um, <laughs> uh, and I really have to thank Bitma and I really have to thank Mikkel because it was really great to work with them and especially Mikkel as ADK specialist, it's, it's not, to, you can't estimate how valuable it is to have him in the team because without him it would have been very bad. <laughs> so you learned a lot about ADK today? Yes. Cool, cool. <laughs> thank you. But anyhow, I want to see the detail later in uh, the result in details. I'm really interested in very old stuff which did not work out that well, like space stations or something like that. <laughs> he wants another tablet. Did you try the cat sounds from our sponsor? Maybe we give it later a try. Um, team number 11, that's right. Who is it? Who is it? Team number 11. They're out. Okay, team number 12. So, which, um, do you want to connect it to? Yeah. Oh. I need the cable now. Yeah, and now you have to pay attention again to the speaker in front. Ah, weiß ich noch nicht. Was braucht man hier? Du warst einmal hier nicht. Hackers help hack us out. That's the spirit. With adapters. Yeah. Although he's from a different team, so huh? Ah. Jetzt habe ich VR hier. Danke. Hä? Das soll hier reinpassen? Never ever. Stevie? Ah. Oh. Okay, so what was uh, actually your goal? Uh, the goal was to have fun. Um, I was Did you reach that? I assume that. <laughs> yeah? You have, you have to yeah. ask uh, Giovanni. Uh, the first goal is to work in a team, and I did it with Giovanni. I was very lucky to have him on my team. Um, we did some cool stuff. At least we tried to. And um, actually, we, we built a uh, Arduino application which allows you to monitor your server room with humidity, light, temperature, and pressure. Uh, that thing does uh, generates uh, on the built-in web server. It, it generates a JSON string, which a PHP script fetches every three minutes, and uh, Builds it in, into a RRD tool, which allows you to gr generate graphs. Uh, well, that's not the version. I have to.
was the initial version we created. Uh, as Giovanni is a front-end developer, he offered me to help to do some nice front-end, which we did. And this is the version we released today. Uh, unfortunately, we had to generate data sources as the uh, real-time data sources are not available because they are in an internal, internal network. And um, we did use some JavaScript, but uh, maybe Giovanni may explain this. Well, um, uh, we used the um, JavaScript library to generate uh, VHTML5 and CS3, their, their canvas. Uh, so there's no flash. And um, then there's this accordion. Not, well, there's nothing in the other, uh, in the other tabs at the moment where it's ready to, to host uh, more than one, uh, one grid, uh, one graph. And uh, pretty nice working on mobile, too. Yes, you may take your Android phones right now and go uh, use the tinyurl, tinyurl.com slash server duino minus demo. I can write it down if you want to. You will find it a bit slow, unfortunately. Is it going? Please? Uh, no, actually not. You may ask the web server master. Well, it's a, um, it's a, a service provider, but today it's going maybe a bit, a bit slow. It works on the mobile? You're going? Cool. Woo. Okay, okay. Cool. great. That's nice. You had <laughs> also, we managed to rewrite the entire code into object uh, object oriented PHP, and the next goal will be to uh, add an SMS gateway to it, so it can send email um, SMSs to you to your phone instead of emails. Okay, cool. Thank you very Thank much. You. So, team number twelve? No, that was team number thirteen. Now. 13. So, what was your goal? Okay, our goal was uh, to integrate the FM server, which Olaf presented before, with um, with the uh, with our Android app. So, um, what we're going to show you is first of all um, what the FM server can do. Um, and the flexibility of the whole thing. We, uh, for that, we need a socket bar. Mm, we will also plug, perhaps we can plug in this wonderful lamp. Is this possible? No? <laughs> so you can see for the, for the sockets we use, um, also some effect. And we're not telling you some stories. Okay, okay. So it's on. <laughs> it's a bit like okay. Lego. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, the team consists of um, us three, and Ben also contributed a lot, who is sitting there, our keyboard surfer. Thanks for that, for, some, for your support. And uh, Mirko actually joined a little bit later in the process, but contribution valuable. You will see it. Good. <laughs> I'll hand over to Ola. Okay, so we've installed the FM server here in the in the C base, and uh, it will run permanently permanently from now on here. So uh, we keep it running here, and uh, you can use it basically to control all the stuff. So we set it up here. You have a web interface here where you can control the stuff, and we have uh, configured uh, a, a remote control, this one, and uh, some some plugs here, 
and we put some logic in there. So we can use the remote control, of course, uh, to, to switch on lights like this one. That's uh, fairly easy. But we can also use this 800 megahertz uh, remote control to switch on and off um, uh, 433 megahertz switches. So we can switch off the, uh, the uh, uh, lightning bar over there on the top there, and we can switch it on again. Oh. So you see it there. So this is a 433 megahertz switch, and this is an 800 megahertz uh, remote control. So we're sending this command to the FM server. The FM server translates it and brings it up there. <laughs> but, but that was the easy task because it was completely already written and uh, we have simply installed it. So the real cool stuff comes now. Hey, um, I'm not really part of this FM project, but uh, quite some time ago I started to uh, write my own project, but my own project, um, which is um, usually, yeah, just controlling this uh, remote control power sockets. And since I'm coming from the embedded Linux OpenWRT uh, background, I decided to use uh, one of those routers and saw that an uh, RFM12 module onto it. And uh, right now it's the La Fonera, um, somebody may know it. And uh, yeah, I wrote a kernel module, I wrote, um, library and an XML RPC service, as well as an Android application, which is um, shown right here. And now I can just switch on and off uh, this light up there. Oh, wait a second. It should turn on now. It doesn't. <clears throat> ah, okay. Yeah. So here it is. <laughs> So, <laughs> <laughs> communication happens via XML RPC right now between the Android device and uh, the router. And um, onto it, so that is an um, 434, no, 433 uh, megahertz module, which is controlling the lights and the power sockets. Same, same today? Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. No? Same today. <laughs> oh, now it is doing something. Good. Here we go. Huh? Okay. So as you can see here, um, we ported the application from uh, Mirko, uh, the user interface, into the, um, into, onto the application from Olaf. So what you can do now is, oh, what's doing? No, we're actually using this uh, rim, um, socket, so it works. We can also do the same for the neon bar up there. Okay. So where can we go with this? You can go everywhere because it's <laughs> dynamic. No, in all honesty, it's a prototype now. So everything is configured uh, statically. And, um, but mission accomplished, I would say, Olaf, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Perfectly written an uh, uh, Android uh, uh, user interface for the FM server, and we got even a standalone Android application with the whole stack there. Just okay. one thing, just to be honest, yeah. Um, Andreas helped me a lot. Ben helped me a lot. Mirko, the uh, user interface, and to be all honest with you, I'm a PM, okay, and I made this, so it's working. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks okay. a lot, guys. <laughs> Okay, so let's come to the next, team number 14. Yes, there is a 14. Hey, how are you? Hello. Fine, thanks. <laughs> 
What was your goal? Uh, let's say our goal was to get familiar with some technologies. And did you get familiar with some technologies? Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> So, what did you find out uh, about technology? Maybe you can share it a bit with us. Uh, yeah, um, I played a lot with Node.js. Um, that's a pretty cool but weird technology. <laughs> you really have to get used to it. Yeah, and the NPM, the uh, Node.js package manager, is weird too. And yes. we took a look at MongoDB and what else? Huh? Who is we, by the way? Yeah, stand up a bit. Yeah. So, and all of this technologies is weird. Um, Web sockets are weird too. Yeah, they don't work. <laughs> yes. <They're broken. laughs> okay. Do you have something to present to us besides the knowledge you earned? Unfortunately, not. Okay, but thank you for participating, and uh, thanks. Next time, maybe. So, I mean, I even have to learn to count. Um, that was 14? 15, was it? That's right. No, it was 14. So, 15. Team number 15 passed out uh, very early because he had to do so many other things. He was here yeah, and he was helping me. Uh, yeah. I think I should have mentioned, made my goal uh, fighting my hangover. Which would would have been very successful, oh. but um, yeah, I tried to help here and there and was successful. I'm very happy with what was achieved here today. It's really awesome. So actually, so, your goal was to uh, do something on Seabase apps. Yes. Do you think uh, there was something in the room evolved in the last hours which is useful as a Seabase app? I yeah, absolutely. Kind of everything. <laughs> okay, so you achieved also your goal. <laughs> And you even passed! <laughs> Very good! So, and I think this was the last team when we started. But later on there came some people who had some hangovers or problems or whatever. Um, so is there any team number 16? Kevin. <laughs> so, um... Alas, alas. No, nobody knows what you, what was your goal, and even I don't know because you try to explain me, and I'm not so really got it. We came in quite late, and uh, I think uh, the goal was uh, if, we, if we plug it in, then I'll just kind of intro the next team. They can come up after. What? I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna intro the next team, and we'll put this on the projector, okay? Uh, so the next team will kind of tie into this one as well. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's. So. so so I'll in, I'll intro them and they can they can come in, okay? Okay. So if we uh, we uh, first plug this in. Oh. Und bist du nicht wirklich so beraubt geworden? Das hier. Bin ich jetzt Stereo? Double Stereo. Is it coming on? No, no, hold on. Okay. It's uh, blue screened. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no, there we go. Oh, you can't really see it. It's not scaled right. But basically, uh, the idea was to connect to Foursquare and see who all is checked into a particular location. And uh, depending on how many people are checked in, it gives you the chance to get special offers. So right here it says free beer. And if you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people all checked in, then the bar gives free beer. 
I'm not saying you have to give free beer, but like uh, bars could have this on their wall, and then uh, you could, and then when everybody checks in, uh, an offer is unlocked. So everyone has to check in when they get to a location. But this is not live because uh, you know, like implementing OAuth over uh, uh, jQuery turned out to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. I thought I could just do it over G jQuery, but <coughs> actually it makes much more sense to kind of persist the session using PHP or uh, whatever, like CGI technologies. But uh, so is it, is there some library for OAuth jQuery? Uh, you you try to there, use or there, I wanted to use a library, but oh no. I wanted to use a library, but uh, what's this? It's all messed up. No, no I wanted to here. use a library, but there was no libraries, so that's uh, why it okay. made it difficult. There was no libraries that you have to just play and use, uh, just in, um, do all the session stuff yourself. And so I didn't get very far. I just got the the website up, but uh, the next team got much more done. And uh, I can't show the next bit because it won't work. Like, oh, does this? Oh, it does work. Great, great. Okay, so. Now, if the if, if the next team, Team 17, come on. Okay. Um. <laughs> a blinking man. Okay, so my goal is uh, to make the most the poly, the most incorrect app possible. Should it? Should, so like the most politically incorrect app. Should we turn off the recording, by the way? <laughs> Maybe for my own sake. <laughs> so it's called uh, Al Qaeda versus IRA, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the idea is basically you connect and uh, you check uh, who's checked in into a place, and then you form it. So <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Uh, we tried to make it work on tablet. We had a bit of trouble with ADK, but so. Let's start for those who can see. <laughs> Logs you in. <laughs> okay, I think just give me a second. Come on. Let me just check if I have internet. <laughs> okay, let's start again. Let's start again. Uh, there we go. So we see like the list of places with potential kill count. <laughs> uh, we have Seabase here with a potential kill count of three. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's a bit slow. I think it's just the net that is a bit slow. Let, let's wait a bit. Who is checked in? Uh, Who, who's checked in? You are checked in? You are checked in, and you are checked in, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> the net is quite slow. <laughs> Let me try anyway. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 okay. That's my app. Hope you enjoyed Thank it. you very much. And, and the team was uh, Jamie and Luigi and Andrea and Matthias uh, and all the back from the water. Woo! Who? Who? You should see the name of the people that you just killed, but it's a bit <laughs> slow. I don't know. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you very much. Yes, there's also the BVG uh, main center I just saw on his list. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, um, and was there another team more? N no, I don't think so. Oh, oh. 
Woo! When, when did you come? <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, yeah, I arrived a bit late. I blame the being too downstairs too long in the member zone for <laughs> arriving a bit late. So uh, I didn't have as much time to put together such a cool demo as we've seen here. But um, basically, we've been showing some of the new stuff of Ice Cream Sandwich, the new Android release, and I didn't really like any of the Android Beam demos. They're a bit dry. And I thought Android Beam, and we're all kind of Star Trek fans. They should be a Star Trek, Star Trek themed Android Beam. So with a lot of help from Marie. Uh, we put together some new graphics. So now, if we have, so now if I launch um, the transporter app, we have two little Star Trek droids. And if I touch them together and beam it, one disappears and one arrives on the other side. <laughs> Okay, so within one and a half hour, you actually implemented teleportation of androids, yeah? <laughs> okay, I understand why Google's hiring you. So <laughs> next, next step is the tablet version, and the next step will be the real version, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we talk to you in version three then. So, that was all the project. Yeah. Um, did you enjoy any of it? <laughs> So not so much, okay. <laughs> so now comes the more difficult part. <laughs> no, this is the easy part then. Um, the difficult part is for you to decide what was the most awesome project here. Ah, I'm so happy I don't have to decide this. So. Um, I think I'll be, or we both be the very subjective applausometer, and um, you just have to uh, cheer and scream and stomp and uh, clap, and we will see what. Yeah, you can dance as well, of course, but it's not so loud if you dance, Giovanni. Um, So, um, I think every project just uh, will stand up when we when we get there, and we'll see what maybe the Twitter stream can vote for, wait, can vote too if anything uh, anybody uh, wants to vote there. So let's see. Um, project number one was the wheel map. Uh, guys, yes, that's the only thing I remember in we correct order, I guess. Uh, we map on a tablet. Yeah. Does anyone has a list? No. Yeah. Okay. Any clue? <laughs> Any clue? <laughs> okay. So, give us an applause for we map on a tablet. How amazing was it? How did you like it? Um, uh, stop stuff. So good. Come on. Okay. I won't cheer you up more because it would uh, uh, change the results. Oh, okay, next off. one is uh, the lamp. The the not only the lamp, all the lamps and all the relays. So make it bling for marketing. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Okay, just. Okay, that was a bit better. So. Um, sorry for real map. Next one. Can you beat this? The hackathon. Oh no, you can sit down. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, additional to the noise, I have to add this uh, cheering. Yeah, this move. Yes. Okay, I saw this. Huh? Mm. Uh, I noticed. Check plus one. Um, so next one. Next one. Who who came after after hackathon? No? Yeah, but five. there would be a next. Five. <laughs> no five. Yeah, thanks for counting. Okay, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, before this. Okay, you had sorry. I I oh the was the the we we learned but we didn't okay. Uh, the measure, the breathalyzer, yeah, the Android breathalyzer, very useful thing.
at some parties it should be implemented into the stock Android, right? Yeah. <laughs> it should be default on Twitter clients. <laughs> Oh no, your level of alcohol is too high. You can't treat that. Okay. Um, the next one after the breathalyzer was nine. <laughs> team number nine. Team number ten. Guys, too hard to count. The eighty-nighters, the the guys who didn't really succeed. I guess was was it that right? Yes. Yeah. So okay. Sorry. So the next one, where's uh, the next ones? Not 11, but 12. 12? Give me again uh, a hint, sorry. The server, uh, server Drino? Oh, oh the, the server room uh, control stuff. Okay. The next one is, was? The near, ah, oh, the, 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 uh, the power sockets, which were remote controlled. Okay. That was quite an applause. Um, the next ones. Yeah, the guys who learned a lot and fitted around with technology but didn't invent a new f uh, framework or programming language while doing it, so, okay. <laughs> yeah, give, give yourself some applause, right. No, it's great to have you here and it's all about just learning, so we'll go on to the next ones. There, there were a few, I, I know, so... <laughs> so nobody wants to be on stage anymore? No, no, they were there they were another one with the light. another was a power socket. Yeah. So that was all handled. So uh we we had this uh this bomber guy who looked like a Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> just just to ask, uh, nobody feels left out now because we the teleporter thingy. Yeah. Okay. The you don't you, you just you okay you don't. <laughs> Hackers and Star Trek, it, it, it's a good fit, so <laughs> <laughs> very good marketing on your side. <laughs> so um, everybody is accounted for who wants to enter the big competition. Yes, okay. Then we have to discuss a bit.